Tony, I'd imagine probably disappointed um, doesn't tell a half of how you feel right now. How do you feel? No, we're, we're, you know, the lads have put a great effort in today and shouldn't lose the game. Um, you know, the, the final third, the number of times we were in their final third and, you know, the quality at times wasn't as good as it should be. Um, but you can't fault the lads' effort. They, they were absolutely fantastic. And again, two decisions. You know, Brunty's one is a definite penalty. He touches it past him. And the referee's five yards away from that. And looking at Callum's as well, he actually catches Callum. Um, so, you know, I don't know when we had last had a penalty given for us. I know we've, uh, we've had a few turned down now. Um, so it's disappointing. The lads are really disappointed because they've put a real shift in today. How disappointed? We'll talk about the penalty instance, if, if we may. Chris Bunt in the first half seemed as if, if the player came through the back of him. You know, Chris was adamant on the pitch. You could see him remonstrating with yeah. the referee. No, it, it's, a, it's a penalty. The, the, the lad doesn't touch the ball and goes right through the back of Chris. Um, he goes for the ball, but Prunty's just touched it and he's caught him. So, you know, that's a stone banker penalty for me. And, this, and the, you know, you, you're attacking towards the end. Callum McManum comes on the pace he's got. Why do you think the penalty hasn't been given? I don't know. You'd have to speak to the, to the officials. You know, like I say, we have a penalty against Bournemouth given against us last week, which is outside the box. I think the TV have shown. There is outside the box. We have two Stonewall penalties again this week. We had two Stonewall penalties against Leicester that weren't given. Um, so, you know, it's, things are not breaking for us at the moment, but we've got to keep going. The spirit, again, was fantastic. You know, I thought the lads kept going and kept going. And... Um, you know, we just got a bit, we get a little bit of luck. It, it was a frantic game, a lot of, you know, an attritional kind of game. You haven't got long to turn them around. Is it a good thing you've got a game in less than 40 hour, 48 hours? Well, I'm, a, you know, I, I'm obviously a traditionalist with this country and, and you know, the uh, holiday periods um, are great, great occasions for, for supporters. You know, their wives get fed up with them, want to send them out for a couple of days and, um, you know, the, the, the atmosphere, hopefully, on, on Monday, the supporters will come and, and recognise that, you know, the players are putting the effort in and, and, and playing well and playing, you know, really well at times. So we just need a little bit of help at the moment. We're certainly not getting it in certain areas, um, which is disappointing. But um, we certainly need their help on the terraces. And hopefully we'll turn up on, on Monday and we'll work as hard and play as well as we did today, but get the breaks. On positives, look, we spoke before the game. You were looking. You said you want to bring Saido Berahini on. You gave him half. Yeah, you gave I, him I half him, an hour. Yeah, and he, you know, he looked a bit short. You've got to be honest. He looked um, a little bit short of what he's, what he is. You know, he's a terrific player, but hasn't played enough for us. Um, but you know, he can skew open that he'll score a goal. You know, Sess has come on and Callum as well. So, you know, we'll see what uh, what state we're in on Monday.